Uh, this is the J Cruise. J Cruise is a really great uh, three-quarter shell helmet. I'm personally a big fan of this style of helmet. It's, there's nothing like you know the, the feeling of just having nothing in front of your face when you're riding, um, except you know protection from the wind. And these helmets are, are really wonderful. Um, the the J Cruise is also equipped with an internal sun visor. Uh, really easy to operate there with this lever. Um, sun visor. It's the same. It's actually the same sun visor that uh, is mounted in the Neotech and now the GT Air helmet as well. Um, a lot of the features on this helmet are really similar to what we went over on the GT Air, so I won't go through all of it. But uh, one of the features that's unique on this particular helmet is the face shield. Uh, the face shield has a, a locking system here, so um, a lot of our customers are telling us that it's it's frustrating when they have a jet style helmet like this and they turn around and look and the wind grabs it and pulls the shield up. So ours actually um, it, it won't pull up too easily unless you just go ahead and give it a tug on this side and it pops right open. So we have a locking system for the shield. Um, additionally, uh, Shoei, Shoei has a full-size uh, in-house wind tunnel for testing. It generates speeds up to 150 miles an hour, so uh, we, we can test with a variety of different bikes to make sure that all of our helmets are going to work well no matter what you're riding with. Uh, one of the things that we designed in our wind tunnel, um, Right, maybe maybe look a little closer here to see this. There's a little there's a little lip right here. And what that's designed to do is, as the air moves down and around the helmet on a typical jet style helmet, it's real easy for the wind to kind of blow up and dry your eyes out. Uh, particularly if you are on a uh, bike that has a fairing that pushes the wind up in this direction. So this little lip here is designed to uh, push the air out and around the bottom of the face shield, so you won't have that uh, you know kind of distracting wind blowing in through the bottom. So that's a that's a great feature. Again, uh, you know, no compromise with the ventilation system, even though it is a three, three quarter shell helmet. Um, and the cheek pads are designed for silence as well. Uh, they have additional layers of foam along the bottom edge of the cheek pad that seal up tightly against uh, against the cheek or against your uh, jawline to uh, prevent air from, air and noise from coming into the bottom of the helmet as well. Um, so, so yeah, so these, these basically are, are the two new helmets that we're here to show. That's a that's a really interesting gap. You can see the gasket right along through here. It's, uh, it's really well sealed. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, we on on both of these new helmets, uh, show all of Showy's new uh, new helmets that we're introducing now actually have a, 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 a dual uh, a dual sealing bead there. You, you see there's actually uh, two different seals there. So if one of them's leaking a little bit, the second one will catch it. So you won't have any annoying drafts moving into the helmet. Um, and that, that's the same on the Neotech, the GT Air, and uh, the J Cruise. So this is probably something that I guess you'll be seeing on all of our helmets with shield, or with shield from this point forward. Let's see how, that, how well that seals the object. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this helmet also, it doesn't, it, this one does not come with the pin lock in the box because we can't really feature that too many people are going to need the pin lock system on this style of helmet. Uh, but it, the shield does come equipped with the pins already there. So if you want to add a pin lock uh, later on down the road, you don't need to buy a new shield first. You can just go ahead and mount the, the lock inside. So, yep, so both of these helmets are brand new. Uh, I just got them in our office in California on Monday. I put them in a box and shipped them up to, uh, to our distributor here in Canada, Motoman. Uh, they were supposed to get them on Wednesday. They didn't show up. We got a little panicky, but, but uh, they showed up Thursday, so we overnighted them out to the show and had them on display Friday. Uh, you know, look for these to be hitting the dealer's shelf starting in about February.